should, he was conflicted. Look, Robert Mueller should have never been chosen because he wanted the FBI job and he didn't get it. And the next day he was picked as special counsel. So you tell somebody, I'm sorry, you can't have the job. And then after you say that, he's going to make a ruling on you. It doesn't work that way. Plus, we had a business dispute. Plus, his relationship with Comey was extraordinary. Now, one other thing I'll say. Why didn't he investigate Strzok and Page and McCabe and Comey and all the lies and Brennan and the lies and Clapper and the lies to Congress? And all of the things that happened to start this investigation. Why didn't Comey come clean? Why didn't Comey come clean and say the things that he knows are fact? Why didn't Mueller investigate Comey, his best friend, or his very good friend? And there's so many other things. Here's a question. This is a study of Russia. Why didn't they invest the insurance policy? In other words, should Hillary Clinton lose... We've got an insurance policy. Guess what? What we're in right now is the insurance policy. I think he is a total conflicted person. I think Mueller is a true never-Trumper. He's somebody that dislikes Donald Trump. He's somebody that didn't get a job that he requested that he wanted very badly, and then he was appointed. And despite that, and despite $40 million, 18 Trump haters, including people that work for Hillary Clinton and some of the worst human beings on earth, they got nothing. It's pretty amazing. No, Russia did not help me get elected. You know who got me elected? You know who got me elected? I got me elected. Russia didn't help me at all. Russia, if anything, I think helped the other side. What you ought to ask is this. Do you think the media helped Hillary Clinton get elected? She didn't make it. But you take a look at collusion between Hillary Clinton and the media. You take a look at collusion between Hillary Clinton and Russia. She had more to do in the campaign with Russia than I did. I had nothing to do. And by the way, that's one other thing. If you look, this was all about Russia, Russia, Russia. They don't talk about Russia anymore because it turned out to be a hoax. It was all a hoax. And then they say, gee, he fought back. Isn't that terrible? He fought back. Of course I fight back. Because it was a false accusation. A totally false accusation. And it's a disgrace. And it's a very, it's a very sad period for this country. And I think in the end, I will consider what's happening now to be one of my greatest achievements, exposing this corruption. <laughs> I don't see how they can because they're possibly allowed, although I can't imagine the courts allowing it. I've never got into it. I never thought that would even be possible to be using that word. To me, it's a dirty word, the word impeach. It's a dirty, filthy, disgusting word, and it had nothing to do with me. So I don't think so because there was no crime. You know, it's high crimes and not with or or. It's high crimes and misdemeanors. There was no high crime and there was no misdemeanor. So how do you impeach based on that? And it came out that there was nothing to do with Russia. The whole thing is a scam. It's, one of, it's a giant presidential harassment. And honestly, I hope it goes down as one of my greatest achievements because I've exposed corruption. I've exposed corruption like nobody knew existed. I think we're doing very well with China. Come here, I want to shake your hand. Come here. You've treated me fairly. Thank you. Thank you. Wait, wait. I want to ask a real reporter's question. We're gonna we're gonna answer a real reporter's question, okay? China would love to make a deal with us. We had a deal, and they broke the deal. I think if they had it to do again, they wouldn't have done what they did. We're taking in billions of dollars in tariffs. China is subsidizing products. So the United States taxpayers paying for very little of it, 
And if you look at inflation, and if you look at pricing, it's gone up very little. The tariffs are having a devastating effect on China. People are fleeing the country with their companies. These companies are leaving for Vietnam, other parts of Asia, and they're even coming to the United States because then there's no tariff. I think we're doing very well with China. We'll see what happens. But I can tell you, China very much wants to make a deal because the companies are leaving China to avoid the tariff. China is becoming a very weakened nation, just as Iran has become a very weakened nation. And Iran wants to make a deal also. Say it. Well, I may. Uh, Nigel Farage is a friend of mine. Boris is a friend of mine. They're two very good guys, very interesting people. Uh, Nigel's had a big victory. He's picked up 32% of the vote, starting from nothing. And I think they're big powers over there. I think they've done a good job. Well, I like them. I mean, they're friends of mine, but I haven't thought about supporting them. Maybe it's not my business.